Hello, my little beauties. I am Carcamo the Forger of Pain, your favorite geeky pro wrestler. And today we're gonna talk about YouTube Fallen Hero. Twitch doubles down on their booby policies, Sony's biggest leak, and bye bye E3. This is Carca News. There's a saying that you should never meet your heroes. And this is the third time for me. And let's not talk about the other ones. Let's talk about Gerard Khalil, the completionist. Definitely, this guy isn't completing the situation very smoothly lately. Here's the scoop. Reports have surfaced accusing Gerard's Open Hand Foundation of playing a disappearing act with donations over $600,000. This whole saga started with some eagle-eyed investigations by Carl Jobs and some ordinary gamers, Mudahar. They uncovered that donations meant for dementia research might be missing a few comments in the accounting department. Money is in, but where is it going? According to Jobs' findings, there's a blink and you miss it pattern in the charity's feelings, in the lands bringing in the big bucks. But the Gulf Cops contribution seem as hidden as Waldo. Strange, isn't it? And this is a little bit ironic and I don't want to be a douchebag, but you could say he faked some dementia himself. And guess what? When Gerard was confronted and pressured, he made the transfer almost immediately. But right now we would say that his career is kind of over because he's bleeding subscribers. So you like boobies? So do I, but there's a place and a time for that. And trust me, Twitch is not that place. So, Twitch, ah, uh, Twitch, you were full of double standards. The uh, Twitch thoughts, or whatever it is you wanna call them, they always try to bend the rules of reality and the community guidelines of Twitch. And of course, Twitch, they just turn the blind eye because they're making a lot of dough. So these girls, they just go on naked and they're like, you know, they're like covered up to here because if you don't show a nipple, it's legal. It's artistic nudity. Oh yeah, there's a lot of art in doing this. That's very artistic. But in less than 24 hours, Twitch doubled down. Oh, please, think of the children. No, they don't care about that. They just want money. But because of PR, they were getting a lot of backlash. So in less than 24 hours, bam, it was banned. But well, thank God it's over. Let's see what's gonna happen with the future of Twitch. Sony's being hacked. Yes, again, but no, not just any hack. This is their biggest hack ever. So hackers breached Insomniac Games, and guess what? It's raining leaks. The kind you want to avoid if you're anti-spoiler, but hey, if you're like me and embrace them, buckle up. Sony said, you know what? No, we won't pay because we don't deal with terrorists. And guess what? The information was leaked for our viewing pleasure. These hackers, and not your friendly neighborhood ones, dumped 1.7 terabytes of insider info. Wolverine's got the spotlight, as always, people. There's early footage, unannounced characters, a full cast list, and the game's plot all spilled like a pop can of soda. But the other thing is they doxed a couple of, not a couple, actually, a lot of Sony executives, like their private information, phone numbers, addresses. Yeah, that's, that's effed up. Venom's cooking up something venomous. Okay, I know, that was bad. Leading into Spider-Man 3. Ooh, and speaking of Spider-Man, that's in for a two-parter multiverse vibes, maybe? 
Marvel's playing the exclusivity game, locking X-Men up with Sony till the year 2035. Holy crap a moly, that's a long-term commitment. But hold your horses. Leaked slides show Sony's internal concern about Xbox leapfrog moves, especially after the Activision Blizzard buyout. Sony is totally sweating bullets over Game Pass threats while juggling its live service games. Sony, you should get a Norton antivirus. Is that still a thing? E3 finally shuts down. And uh, isn't this like old news? Uh, is it just me? But I thought, I think E3 was over like a year, two years ago. Uh, but well, nevertheless, they made their their thingy, their press uh, comunicado, and uh, they say like you know buy E3. Now, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna say it's not sad because I think that was an experience every gamer had to experience. Uh, I had the honor and the privilege to assist five E3s, and I met a lot of friends, and I met a lot of. <laughs> heroes and with that i just want to say thank you for watching karaka news i am back baby and uh yeah obviously this all happened on december but you know this is a bite-sized news of all the things you missed on 2023 but don't worry because i'm coming back i'm coming and i'm coming hard